Hi guys, it's David at Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? A while ago, I was on a Facebook forum and uh, some chap put up a post about titanium uh, cook set, canteen, and uh, cooking pot. He was looking to buy one. And some guy came on and he said, well, you know, they're just overpriced because aluminium is lighter. So I googled it, and uh, sure enough, aluminium is much lighter than titanium in terms of density. One cubic inch of titanium is, is heavier than one cubic inch of aluminium. However, I do have a titanium flask, and I know from experience that a titanium flask is much lighter than uh, comparable aluminium flask and the reason is this titanium it has a higher density than aluminium but it's stronger so you can make your titanium cookware flasks whatever much thinner walled so it does actually overall give you a lower weight now based on this uh, little form chat which was months ago now I decided to get out steel canteens, aluminium canteens, titanium canteens, and actually compare the three to see what actually is the difference and is it worth bothering about. In my left hand, I have a French replica aluminium flask, and here I have a heavy cover titanium flask. This one is 1.25 litres, this one is 1.1 litres, so smaller volume in the titanium. And if you've never held two bottles like this in your hand, I can tell you just by holding your hand, the titanium feels much like, it feels like a feather compared to this. And in actual numbers, this is 170 grams. The aluminium one is 330 grams. So you're saying, Dave, yeah, but this is a bigger bottle. True, that's a bigger bottle. I worked out if this had the same volume as this, if I just scaled it up, this would be 200 grams. So if you compare apples to apples, you're saving 130 grams with the titanium flask. Let's look at two more items, two uh, camp cups, an aluminium one here and the titanium one here, which goes with the heavy cover. This is the one that goes with the French replica GI mug. This one, this mug is 110 grams. This mug is, I've written on the side, so I don't, we get 150 grams so you're saving 40 grams with this cup and actually the sizes the volumes of these are very comparable they're basically the same the titanium cup comes with a lid the lid weighs 30 grams so the lid cup combo is lighter than the aluminium cup by 10 grams just on its own the aluminium one doesn't come with a lid so i can't weigh it i was having so much fun weighing all of my flasks and cups i thought go to whole hog get your steel one out now i've got my steel canteen out this is a pathfinder brand one very nice very solid i mean really solid gives you a great sense that it's not going to fall apart at all and i weighed it and i was really surprised it came in at 325 grams steel a much greater density than titanium high way above aluminium was actually lighter sorry about the bash was actually lighter than the aluminium french french bottle so aluminium with its supposed well it is with its lightness you would i would have never guessed that the aluminium bottle was going to be lighter heavier sorry than the steel bottle and these are actually both exactly the same size 1.25 liters so completely comparable you can't just take one sample and make a conclusion from that. So I pulled out an aluminium cooking pot, Trangia brand, and a steel cooking pot, Stanley. Clearly in two different form factors, but uh, I don't have an endless supply of uh, cooking utensils and different uh, materials. So I got what I could compare to the best of the abilities. And this one is one litre volume. This is also one litre. The weight on this, 125 grams. The weight on this 200 grams so that is a significantly heavier pot being 75 grams higher but it does have the handle on it 
I don't know, maybe take off 20, 30 grams for that. Maybe this is 50 grams, 40 grams heavier than the aluminium. Still, if you look at the actual raw density figures for aluminium, that is still actually very, very good performance from the steel. The lightest material is always going to be plastic. This one being a GI bottle, which is a little bit less than a litre, 100 grams. Just to remind you, this was 170 grams. So if you want to go for ultimate lightness, always go for your plastic. This is the kind of investigative uh, outdoor gear journalism I do, so you don't have to. I've weighed all these different pots, pans, cups, mugs, utensils, and aluminium, very low density, does not always equate to a lighter piece of kit. It comes a lot down to the actual construction of the specific item in question. So remember guys, if you're looking to cut your weight down, don't just look at the material, actually look at the actual weight of that item and consider that because sometimes items you think might be lighter aren't actually that much lighter. And sometimes they can even be heavier. Thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not yet a subscriber and you're interested in videos where I give reviews of outdoor gears, I give survival tips, bushcraft tricks, check out some more of my videos. If you like what you see, if you like that kind of content, smash down on the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.